speech. Today we live in freedom and our memory must not fade. The reason for this freedom is the sacrifice is made. So we celebrate our veterans on the 11th of November and thank them for their courage and pledge always to remember them. Thank you very much, Hopkins. As you heard, my name is Mike Whalen. I grew up, went to school, and still live here in Hopkins. It is my honor here this morning to represent the many Hopkinton veterans here in this school. Millions of American men and women have served our country in both times of war and peace. Those who served will always tell you they believed it was the right thing to do. This day is for them and the ceremonies such as we are observing now makes this day even more special. For many years, Hopkins School has been a part of a grateful nation. A nation that is a mix of all the races and ethnic groups from all over the world. This melting pot that we call the United States of America is the best place to live on the earth and the envy of all other nations. Sometimes these emotions lead to conflicts and wars. We need to defend ourselves and protect our families. That is why we have and support our armed forces. Those soldiers, sailors, and airmen keep us safe. They are the reason we have our freedoms and have a better quality of life than any civilization has ever had. However, Veterans Day is not an occasion to glorify or celebrate war, but to honor those who have made sacrifices for our freedoms. It is so important to carry on this custom every year, as every generation is responsible to keep our American spirit alive and to never forget the lessons of the past. Each of you should always remember to take pride in your heritage, your family, your school, your faith, and our country. The motto from the Marine Corps is Semper Fidelis, which is Latin for always faithful. Good words for all of us to live by. Veterans who have uh, consented to attend today's ceremonies. First of all, Martin, Marlon Flannery's uh, grandfather, Ralph Stover. <laughs> Colin Stacy's dad, Kevin. lifelong uh, Hopkins and veterans, Jeff McMillan, and Bill McMillan. And the grandfather of Charlie Coon in the fifth grade, Bob Thank you all very much. 